everyone welcome back to progress and update number 17 how is everybody is there in lockdown of course we are so if you haven't seen my videos before that's my left hand with lots of paint on it and my right hand and those are the hands that have built this layout first of all i want to say hello and big thank you to gary long sent me um box of bits and pieces loads of containers as you can see one there trailers and some buildings i'll point them out as we go around so thank you gary really appreciative and i'll be using them as and when i go along the layout so as you can see i've uh it's not going to be a long video today i'm uh, still pretty much struggling as you can see i've done the the back scene um, kind of trying to join it together it was pretty difficult really um, balancing on my knees and obviously the lack of fingers and the lack of feet has uh, kind of frustrated me a little bit with the uh, the old back scenes but we got this joined up now I will put the link in the description uh, I bought these uh, stone walls you see run all the way along the back really really cheap actually so I got all of that <laughs> it just goes on and on and on so that's only kind of a third of what was actually in the box so I kind of bought the brick bundle because I didn't really want to run out um, but yeah <laughs> there was loads in there so we we're right for stone walls for, for quite a while but it just finishes off that, you know, break between the track and, the, you know, in the field and stuff. And I put obviously some, some brambles along the edge just to tidy it off. And I think, and we'll run a train soon and we'll see what it looks like with a train going past. But I think it looks all right. You have to excuse the mess. Like I said, it's a big work in progress up here. But yeah. Very pleased how it's turned out. Again, as you can see, I've got um, just started the, the back scene in this area. Let's, let's see if I can view in a little bit. There we go. Nelson's Corner. That's... Uh, all done there Clive, well done for doing that, or for winning that shall I say. So I'm just going to uh, zoom back out again. So our Nelson's Corner, got the, the road painting, or painted, and also I've got a little bit of pathways put in there. They are kind of ready, I've just got to do the, the edging on them. Uh, again, these buildings were from Gary. I'll put them next to the ones that I'd done. And the ones that I'd done, I, I just think it was kind of in my mind as well that they were just a little bit bigger than than the usual size OO gauge size buildings. So I've used his shops, I've taken them off the the um, pathway plinths and we'll uh, I think we'll try a couple of different houses maybe they're a bit smaller and, and make it up um, that was a cardboard kit it's when I got that and I actually made that myself and um, and I stuck it next to the you know the two buildings that I built it just looked so tiny and again against that building there it just looked so tiny so I think those buildings will probably get used in the future but probably more at a distance so uh, but it's looking very nice obviously I haven't I've got to there with the back scene so uh, that'll be my next job and obviously put in the, the pathways and then we can get some road markings and peoples and obviously more people on the platform so yeah it's looking just try and zoom out a little bit if I can. There we go. Hopefully. 
Bear with me. Well, that, the, the horrible camera work there. So yeah, that's kind of what it's going to look like. Like I say, it's uh, the road markings. And it's better obviously seeing that back scene than the wood backs that I had there. So quite pleased with that. Again, we've added some, some brambles um, and stuff to this area. Just slowly adding, adding smaller details now to that area. And lots of work to do. I've just now started putting the, I haven't actually put them in, I'm just kind of measuring what I'll need. I painted them, done a little bit of weathering to them, just obviously figuring out measurements before I start sticking stuff down. But we started on the port area, so that's going to be hopefully looking grand. Obviously, I took the building off for a second. So let's go and run a trainer, see what it looks like from the other side of the fence. So we've crawled underneath the ship again as far as says and this is the view that I get obviously from the other side of the ship just uh, try and hold the camera a little bit steady obviously the, the wall and the back scenes I have to excuse all the tools and stuff but obviously crawling as you can see there, I've uh, repainted the DHL building, giving it a freshen up. And obviously, we got back scenes in the in the post for this side, which I'm kind of dreading. In the past, obviously, I've had mobile layout, so you know it was easy to do the back scenes and that. And I'm not thinking this would be a kind of a, a permanent deal. I didn't put them in and usually, you know, if I don't put back scenes in, I'd paint them. But all in all, I'm very pleased with the, with the look. As you can see here, as I said before, Gary gave give me some trailers, which have plonked some containers on here. So we're looking nice, nice and busy. Got me driver guy there just getting in his cab. But it's all looking really grand. That's uh, basically the view of the ship. Obviously, still need some some vehicles for this area, and obviously for the Bubba Gump shrimp area. And God, it just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? Eh? So, I told you the progress would probably be a little bit slower now. Obviously a bit more intricate stuff to do and the details. So what I'll do now is I think we'll run the train round and we'll call it a day for this week. It's uh, I've made progress, but it's been slow progress. So let's, let's give the train a run round and then we'll, we'll call it a a day for this uh, update if you do like the channel you enjoy the videos you can subscribe it's absolutely free it doesn't cost you a penny so let's give this a nice run round and as I said hopefully we'll make a little bit of progress next week Really starting to like this uh, engineer's area. Every time I add a little bush or something, it's just really enhances. This is what I wanted to see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that looks all right, doesn't it? Nice stone wall and the, and the back scene now. Looks a little bit more believable. 
houses in the distance. Yeah, there was a real, real pain for me to do. It was a bit of a learning curve. But, uh, yeah, as I said, not really looking forward to doing this side. I know it's, it's okay, it's blue and stuff, but I, I think a back seam will, will just set it off just nicely. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch guys, as always. I'll just let it run into the platform. So hopefully I'll see you sometime end of next week. Maybe we've done some progress. We shall see. So have a great week, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.